as AG Prison Talk. I'd like to welcome y'all to join the Child Family. Now I'm finishing out telling my story where I left off in 2006. But like I said, you know, <clears throat> when it comes to spirituality, I realize it was about knowledge itself. So, the thing that I learned, I had to realize how to apply it to myself. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, a lot of people there invest in the physical more than just the physical. So, like I said, I've, I've, I've studied uh, a lot of different religions, you know what I'm saying, uh, seeking knowledge itself, uh, from the Moorish Science Temple, as I was saying, uh, NOI, uh, studying you know, various different occult teachings, like Wicca, Voodoo, Voodoo, Santeria religion, and many other different practices. At the end of the day, everything go back to knowledge itself. <clears throat> so one of the things that I noticed, like in life, that a lot of people they still searching for their identity. For me, I found my identity. You know what I'm saying? And that's spirituality and what spirituality was to me. And spirituality is more than just consciousness. It's it's it's, it's really hard to explain something for somebody else, but for me. Spirituality became <clears throat> uh, something that's interwoven with consciousness and having uh, ex experience of uh, going deep within yourself. I spent a lot of time, you know, um, since 2006, constantly growing, meditating, you know what I'm saying, um, finding out what meditation was. And what meditation was for me is the ability to go within yourself and listen to that small voice that's inside of you. <clears throat> you look at the Bible, in the beginning it says that we're made in the image and likeness of God, that God breathed the, left in, the breath of life into man and, and man became a living soul. First when we say a man, in, in the Sanskrit, the word man means mind. So, <clears throat> The breath of life was breathed into the mind, and man became a living soul, which is something that comes from the heart, the core, you know, of who we are, who we are, you know what I mean, the core of our being. When you study philosophy, you don't really have no real definement of what the soul is. And a lot of people confuse the soul with the spirit. And the soul to me is the creative expression that's deep within ourselves. But when we say soul purpose, you know what I'm saying, life, the soul purpose to us is to express that creative personality within you that's inside your DNA. And th this is where we end up today. For me, you know, for me today, you know what I'm saying, I'm at a point in my life where I feel like that everything I'm doing with, you know, uh, Christian and Be More and Mel and Red and Zer and Timmy and CJ and uh, knowledge, be knowledge from the block and everybody that's a part of this podcast and this movement, you know what I'm saying, even the participants, the ones that come on as guests. So this is a movement, you know what I'm saying, to uplift people, you know what I'm saying. Um, and the only way you can know your highest height is by knowing your lowest depth. So for those people that say, well, you know, sometimes I hear the vulgar language, I, I, you know what I'm saying, I, I hear it, this, I hear it, this, you know what I mean. Life, you know what I'm saying, we are in the all, and all is within us. If there's no such thing as just being good, you know what I'm saying, the bad comes with the, it's known as free will, and that's something that I learned within spirituality about the polarity. Polarity means that, you know, we have the free will to attract and to repel things outside, you know, out of our life. We, we play a hand in creating our own reality, you know, by our actions. So, with a thought, uh, you sow a thought, you weep an action. You sow an action, you weep a habit. You sow a habit, you weep a character. And you sow a character, you weep a destiny. So the question is, you know what I'm saying, it goes back to your thoughts and going back to your heart. And that's what I had to find out for myself, you know what I'm saying, and on this long journey that I've been on in this big, 
and I met a lot of people that helped, you know what I'm saying, me find that with this AG Prison Talk movement, you know what I'm saying, what we doing is we helping people find their high to understand the higher self is you have to understand your lower self. Saying life is about contrast. You know what I'm saying? You can't understand beauty without what you consider to be ugly. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes art so special because art is contrast. You know what I'm saying? Different colors. And that's what we see in life. You know, you see different colors of people. You know what I'm saying? And it's about finding your true color. <laughs> What's your true color is? You know what I'm saying? And being real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, in, in, in this journey, I hope that uh, in my life, I'm hoping I'm able to continue to uplift people. You know what I'm saying? To, to be constructive and not destructive. Because I learned the negative polarity of life. And that was to destroy it. You know what I'm saying? From doing drugs and destroying my mind, destroying my spirit, destroying my body, destroying the community, destroying my friends, you know, destroying my family. You know what I'm saying? To destroy life, you know what I'm saying? Life life is about growth. When you look at grass, when you look at the trees, you know what I'm saying? Growth is symbolized by green. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the commandments of God to uh, be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. You know what I'm saying? So life is symbolized by growth. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> for me, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Providing life back to the world. So I, I, I hope that a lot of people that's been tuning in to the uh, whole AGE prison talk has been, that, you know, a uh, part of the AGE family, that you uh, appreciate, you know, what we're doing. And for some of y'all who been tuning in to some of the things that, you know, we have displayed thus far, you know, I, I will uh, ask that you be patient, you know what I'm saying, as we continue to try to perfect what we're doing. Because, you know, we're providing a voice for people that's behind the walls, you know, whether they're in the state, in the federal penitentiary, and we also provided people on the street with a voice. You know what I'm saying? We had people that came on that uh, spoke about addiction. You know, we had people that came on and spoke about church. You know, we had people that came on and getting shared their stories. We had people that left from out the penitentiary and, and explained how they're succeeding out there and that, this movement right here has gave them a purpose. So, you know, we're, we're continuing to try to grow, you know what I'm saying, and market ourselves, you know what I'm saying, uh, by now we're uh, coming up with our own, you know, clothing line for, uh, who, who, you know, be a part of this experience, you know what I'm saying, uh, with our clothing line, with our t-shirts, we're gonna have spoken word you know what I'm saying, with, with designs, you know, to help inspire people. But everything that we're trying to do, there's a lot of thought behind it. You know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of um, you know, creative energy that we're putting into what we're doing. You know what I'm saying, from um, Christian being our IT man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, he's always constantly, you know, trying to fit in, you know, what you're seeing, you know what I'm saying, to give you quality while working, while moving, you know what I'm saying? So, and then we got, you know, Mel, who's, got, who's like our wild card, you know what I'm saying? He's the one that, you ain't no telling what he gonna say, but yet we still embrace him, you know what I'm saying? And we want him to grow, and we want to change the narrative and, and, and how people look at him, you know what I'm saying? Because people look at him as a black sheep, you know what I'm saying? And and really, you know, he's a good dude, you know what I'm saying? And he's 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 tried to um, do something with his life. And his dreams was slowly took from him, you know, hit by a car, had to get metal titanium rods in his leg, you know what I mean, to being in a car accident where his best friend died right beside him, you know, have his jaw broke, you know, wired shut, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, he also, you know, been right there, you know, when my mom passed away. Yeah. <laughs> 
execute. Yeah, so that brother right there, I love him, man. Because he believed in my vision. While I sit in prison, you know what I'm saying? And it means a lot, you know what I mean? But But uh, yeah, I got a lot of uh, family and friends that believe in me, man. And uh, at any moment, they they do whatever, cause they know that things to talk about ain't penitentiary talk. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got a purpose, and their purpose is tied into my purpose. So, that with that being said. So, I keep following the movement, you know, no matter what your situation is, know that, uh, you was not able to uh, live a life, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, defects in their DNA, they just can't express life. So, if you can breathe, if you can walk, you can talk, if you can hear, these are all blessings, because uh, as far as people who um, can't do those things, I experience people that uh, went through a lot of pain, so for me, trip off, you know, my situation, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I did 20 years, you know what I'm saying? Locked up since, uh, since a <laughs> young nigga, you know what I mean? And uh, one of the first things my father said when I first saw him, because I ain't meet him until I was in my 20s, when he got out the face, this motherfucker had the nerve to say, man, I ain't never been worried about you, Jai. I've been, I've been worried about what the fuck you going to do to somebody else. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga crazy and shit. But uh, I see where I get my rebellion from and my strength, you know what I'm saying? I said I've been I've been broken many times and I always put myself back together and uh, it's hard for me to relate to somebody who give up on themselves you know what I'm saying and that's something I had to learn that it ain't easy for a lot of people to uh, do what I've been able to do you know what I'm saying uh, through certain traumatic experiences I've been through and really my experiences don't compare to uh, that I know that's close to me that uh, was was young and but violated them. You know what I'm saying? So that trauma right there don't don't even um you know, it's not even on the same level of what I experienced, you know what I'm saying? So it's much greater than what I experienced. So it's like, you know, for me I'm always blessed, you know what I mean, to know that uh, I ain't never broken. I have a bone broken, I ain't never been shot, I ain't never been stabbed. Nigga ain't never did nothing to me, man. So, you know, I ain't saying that nothing can't happen to me, but I'm blessed for real, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I also think about uh, one of the greatest minds that, you know, uh, I came across through reading. Um, uh, Stephen Hawkins, you know what I'm saying? For him to be sit there paralyzed in the wheelchair and still have a great mind and it created the literature that he created, that was like aspiring to me, man. I've I, I, I read a lot of history, you know what I mean? A lot of teachers are just not of black people, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, many different denominations and ethnics of people, you know what I mean? So, it's like, for people out there to hate other people, you know what I'm saying, to to uh, be soulless and be inhumane the way they are, T to me it just let me know who those people are, man. They they're people that are possessed, man. You know what I'm saying, and that's what we're dealing with. It's not the people themselves; it's the spirits that's within people, man. And that's what our job is to do, man. Our job is to repeat those spirits, man, those personalities and entities that's in the DNA of people that's out here in this world, because that's what's going on. You know what I mean? We're in the back of the Bible, yo. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? We in, we in Revelations. Have, they, have anybody ever asked themselves, so why is Revelations the last thing given and it lets you know about something that happened before creation? Will it war up in heaven? We find out that Satan was cast down to the earth. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? The, la the layman people don't understand allegory. You know, um, mythology is basically a story that's told, but within that story there's meaning. It has more of uh, a uh, deeper teaching that maybe the mind can't grasp at a young age, so it's put in a uh, story form. Later on, as you grow in life, you will understand the inner teachings, and that's what's called esoteric knowledge. I'm saying we have to come from off the surface, man, studying exoteric knowledge, caught up in religion. And that, don't misconstrue what I'm saying. When you break down the word religion, religion is is made up of a Latin word which means read to do again and ligur. That means to tie back or to bind back. The thing that we tie back and bind and back is ourselves, putting our bodies back together. This is the ancient Egyptian story of Osiris when his body was cut up into 12 pieces and his phallus was thrown inside the, the, the river and it was swallowed by the crocodile. The phallus is the life force. What the devil is doing, he's using our sexual energy against us. The commercials, all you see is, is, is sex. Even when you listen to the word sex, you hear a inside the word sex. That's the snake, that's the serpent. It's representative of the Kundalini energy. And if some, some of y'all who's not familiar with that, basically your, your body is made of electromagnetic energy. And we are dominated by our lower cells through our organs. And, you know, I'm not trying to take everyday life from people, you know what I'm saying? People who indulge in that carnal cells in the material world. Just, just know that you, even though you're in the body or in the world, you're not of it. Your soul is has journeyed eons. You know what I'm saying? You probably reincarnated into the earth many a times, and the reason why you go through things in life is because you have to learn your lesson. So the question is, are are you gonna pass your test? Cause I'm always constantly trying to pass mine. The elevated growth. You know, with that, I, I say, um, peace, love and blessing.